All right, so I've already started on it. I just took the uh, uh, master cylinder off, which only has two T twenty seven, I believe it was, Torx bits. Took this loose. It's got a T twenty five on either side of this um, assembly for the throttle. Now I'm kind of lucky the way they did this. They ran it internal, which is not my favorite, but they did put these nice connectors, or maybe they're factory. I'm not really sure. So all I got to do is cut all these little heat shrink. They put these this heat shrink over it and didn't shrink it for some reason. And then I'm going to uh, just unplug it all, take it all out. I may have to buy new throttle cables. There, I mean, I will at some point. We'll see if these will work for now because, well, these are pretty tall bars. And I'm going back to basically stock. All right, I got the controls off. Wasn't too bad. And now I just got to take these uh, the riser clamp off. I'm also going to replace these bushings because they're kind of worn they're rubber i'm gonna put polyurethane in them so let me get that started and i'll show you what uh, what i come out with Goodbye, tall boy. All right, so I forgot to put, I should have left the bars on there while I cracked it loose. I just put the riser clamp back on and used a three quarter socket to uh, break these loose, three quarter wobble socket. Now comes the fun part. I got to take the uh, actual bushings out. I'm hoping they'll just come out, but we will see in a second. Okay, so now that I got everything off, put some Loctite on the bolts, if it'll ever zoom in. Loctite on both of the bolts. Harley Rider's best friend. So I'm gonna tighten everything down, get it kinda in place, and we'll go from there, we'll go to the next step. All right, now I'm going to put the bars in the clamp. Might get them just a little kind of light, you know, not very tight, just a little loose. And then I'll tighten this thing up. Because otherwise, it, I've always had problems getting these lined up. Let me go and clean these screws up and put more blue stuff on them. All right. So, got the bars in place. Got all the screws in place, and I'm going to tighten them down just lightly. And yeah, I know, I'm putting, these are basically stock bars on the spike. But the thing is, I just do not like ape hangers. They're not comfortable for me. You know, I'm sure people will say, oh, those are better. No, they're not. I, don't, I just don't prefer them. If you like them, more power to you, but they aren't for me. I, I find them uncomfortable. I find them uncomfortable on the interstate. I think the hand position's kind of weird. I like buckhorn bars, and these are... They're not really buckhorns, but they're kind of close enough. I may put a set of buckhorns on here someday, like actual buckhorns. You never know. But this is what I like, so that's what I'm going to do. All right. 
there we go. Now, let me tighten these up with the sobble locket. And the torque spec on these, if you're curious, is good and tight. So that's what I'm going to do. And I think it's tough to get a bite on it. I may have to come back to the other side first. Yeah, you're probably supposed to take this panel off, but I don't want to, so I'm not going to. It's got this little pocket here. It's just perfect, almost, for the extension to go. There it is. And I got Loctite on it, so I'm not too concerned about it coming loose or doing whatever, you know, Harleys like to do. Which has come loose. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's looking a whole lot better. That's what I wanted to see on this bike. All right. Everyone's favorite part, the wiring. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to slip this uh, heat shrink over here over the wires, over all of them. It's gonna take a few minutes. And then I'm gonna just heat it up all at once. And then I'm gonna put a, put a piece of, a, or not a piece of heat shrink, I'm gonna put electrical tape over it and call it done. Cause I don't have any heat shrink large enough to go over this entire wire. And this is good high quality 3M tape, so it won't turn into goop in the sun. All right. Let's get started on this. slide the shrink over it but I'm not going to shrink it until I test the controls. I want to make sure they all work before I do this because I don't want to cut all this crap off for no reason. And yes, I'm doing external wiring because I don't care. I don't really give a crap. Alright, so that works. Right turn signal works. Alright, all the controls on this side work. Get the heat gun and I'm gonna shrink it down and I'll bring you right back. All right, that's it. I put the controls on. We did the wires, ran them, pretty neat. The throttle cable's a little long, but it actually doesn't look too bad. I'll probably just leave it alone. Just to the throttle. And man, the bike looks so much better. That's what I wanna see. I don't wanna see those big freaking ape hangers on this. I mean, they look fine on some bikes. I just don't think they look good on a fat boy. That's just my opinion, though. I like the slightly more sporty look of this bike. 